Hi everyone, it's Charlene here and I'm back with another unboxing video for La Masi Fabrics. So this is the second part. I have already uploaded the first part of um, all my recent fabric, well most of my recent fabric purchases. Um, so the first part had lots of pinks and like teals and greens and stuff in it. Um, and a few of the colours I had mentioned were quite outside of my comfort zone. The, this pile here is very firmly within my comfort zone. These are my colours, they're the colours I always go for um, and I, I just I love them. It's nice to experiment but I do also love to stick with these. So the first few that I have are Cassette Fabrics. Um, two of them are from their newest collection, summer collection. This one here uh, has sold out but there is another colorway in it so I'll show you it anyway so you can get an idea of the scale of the print and things. So when I first seen these fabrics I was instantly reminded of the French ready to wear brand um, Suzanne and I absolutely love the style. They've got loads of pretty dresses and shirts and really lovely prints and just the whole style of the brand the footwear the accessories just everything the jewelry i just love it all so when i seen these i knew i was gonna be recreating some of their looks the first one here this is the mirage oasis viscose and what i really loved about this one so this is from their summer collection i love that it has these really bright like sunshine yellow and this sort of brighter blue i think it's the iris blue is the color they call it but it's mixed in with these richer orangey brown tones which really really suit me so i love that i'm getting that wee pop of like a sunshine yellow but mixed in with my own color palette so there's the this hazel brown here and this sort of softer blue like dark blush and the coral and the green and i just I love it all I absolutely love it uh, I have 1.5 meters of this and it is going to be a Helen's Closet Gilbert top. So I'm going to do the straight hem, I'm not going to do the tie and I'm going to lengthen this short sleeve. So I don't want the big flared sleeve on it, I just want like a sort of, I will, I'll make it probably three quarter length and then roll the cuffs up which is similar to the Cezanne style and I will put a few pictures in so you can get an idea. So that is the plan for this one and I'm really excited to wear this. So I've got a few new pair of secondhand Levi's recently and this is one pair in this sort of summery blue colour and I just think they're going to be so nice together. So I'm really, really excited to get this one made. I actually have a few Gilbert tops cut from fabrics. I think I cut them two summers ago. <laughs> So I sort of think I should probably make them first before I start into these ones, but I also really want to get these ones made. So we'll see. I might have to do like a Gilbert and Marathon some weekend and make them all up in one time. So that's that first one there. This one here is called Autumn Bouquet and it has sold out, but we still have it in the summer bouquet colour. So just so you can get an idea, I'll put a picture in of the other colourway to get an idea of the size of the print. It's like they're like I don't know bushes or clouds or that sort of a shape and it's all like laid over one another and this one has all the like really just perfect autumn colours in it there's like the pink and the dark green and these um tan and rust tones and then there's a wee bit of like a sort of mauvey lilac there as well so I just I love this I absolutely love it and I love that Cousette is another one of those brands they have like a set colour palette and everything always coordinates so it's like Mind the Maker and Meat Milk you know if you get one colour that you like from them the colours are always going to be the same after that you know so there's this Iris Blue which features in a lot of their collections Um, then the Hazel I think is one of these browny sort of shades and yeah I just I love it I absolutely love it and it is also going to be I think a Gilbert top and uh, I think pretty sure it's going to be a Gilbert top. That's what I had in mind for it anyway. This one could possibly change because I might not get it sewn up this summer realistically if you've seen the list of plans I have right now. Probably won't, but we'll see. Hopefully I'll get it done. But yeah, possibly another Gilbert there. And then this one here is called Marcella or Marcello. Let's double check. Um, Marcello Amber Cotton Jacquard. And it is beautiful. It is so gorgeous. It has 
this really beautiful texture in it. It's nearly like a, um, so it's from the, in the Shadow of Dunes collection. I would say it's kind of like a, a gauze nearly. It's quite a light wave. And then it has this sort of raised texture woven into it. And it's just beautiful. It's so, so soft and airy and light. And it is just gorgeous. I absolutely adore it. I just, I love the color and yeah, the texture and everything is just amazing. I had got this to make another Anna Allen Anthea. There is a pattern that I'm testing at the moment and one of the samples is made in like a lovely textured fabric. So it could have, it might have swayed me a little bit, but I'm, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think possibly an Anthea. I think an Anthea. I think with the big sleeve and this lovely airy cotton, I think that would be gorgeous. So yes, I think more than likely it'll be an Anthea or possibly the pattern test that I'm doing. I'm not too sure. We'll see. But it's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. Really, really nice and light and airy. Gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. So then the next one I have here is the Breeze Enzyme Washed Linen. And I actually have this color and I have the black as well in this. And I'm just gonna get it up here because I have a feeling this color has sold out. We have lots of colors in this. I'll try to get a picture of them all put in. Um, yes, so this color has sold out at the moment. It's the dark green. A lot of the colors have been selling out very quickly, especially the darker and brighter colors so there was a fuchsia shade and it's a really bright vibrant pink and we've stocked it twice now and it's sold out both times it's selling out so quickly there will be more stock coming back in at the end of the month so do keep an eye out on that we'll try and post it on here if we do but i have 2.5 meters of this and it's very soft for linen so because it's been enzyme washed um and obviously linen will soften as you wear it, but some of that softening has happened already with this one. So it's not just, sometimes when you first wear pure linen, it can feel nearly a wee bit scratchy until you've worn it a couple of times, I think. But this one doesn't have any of that feeling. It is really, really smooth and just absolutely gorgeous. And I think it doesn't crease just as badly as a normal linen either because it has been softened a bit and yeah I just I love this deep green color I think there's 2.5 meters I probably I'm debating between a zeti I think a zeti would be lovely in it or a pair of trousers and some sort of like shirt or top I I do think I really want to make another zeti jumpsuit and I think it would be lovely in this and because it's linen I know linen is usually associated with like a summer fabric but it is actually quite it keeps you warm during the winter as well so I would get wear out of that all year round um i have i have linen i have green jumpsuits and i have green trousers so i'm not really missing either from my wardrobe but um so yeah it'll just be whatever i fancy in the end and uh, i do think i think a zeti would be lovely in it really really gorgeous and yeah this does come in a huge range of colors but quite a few of them have sold out at the moment um let's see there's still a aqua blues greys and um, pinks red like a few greens as well lighter greens so yeah there's a good few colors still in stock yeah so really really lovely so yeah i'm not sure what do you think i should make in it <laughs> um let me give me some options down below what you would do and then this final one is a cotton cotton seer sucker I love it. So this is, make sure we've got it this way around. So it has this really small, delicate floral print on it, sort of like a petal design. And then the seersucker texture, I'll hold it up so you can see it. It is beautiful. It feels so nice. It's quite crisp and holds, um, but still very lightweight and holds a lot of volume. So it does um it will hold gathers and puffs and everything so well this is going to be a 
self-drafted dress slash potential pattern maybe we never know someday hopefully um it is inspired by one of my favorite brands cecily banson and it's quite a fitted top and then just like a big voluminous puff skirt and wee thin straps and yeah so i'm very excited to make this one I think it's going to be gorgeous and in this fabric it is just going to be amazing like it's really going to hold the volume in the skirt so well it's just beautiful and yeah the texture it just feels amazing you just want to touch it all the time and it's quite like it's like squishy nearly but yeah gorgeous absolutely beautiful and this comes in quite a few colors there's like really really bright summery colors there's like a lime green and a coral and there's a lighter shade of blue but it has sold out and i can't remember what other colors but yeah there's quite a few lovely colors in this uh, the lime green looks amazing it would be really really nice if you can pull that shade off but yeah so that one is going to be a dress and i'm going to get working on that one soon because i want to have it for during the summer it'd be lovely so yeah that is everything there and um, second part of my little fabric haul i have so many plans coming up there is also a new blog post over on mazzy at the moment which i have just finished writing it's all about the summer trends for this season and yeah there's loads and loads and loads of inspiration over there if you're looking for something to read i will pop the link for it down below mm -hmm.